Good evening, Micro Map here, Map Investments. Uh, today we had a down day in the market, and um, it's kind of funny. In my prior video, I had stated that um, VectorVest and MarketSmith had the market in a confirmed uh, uptrend and mildly bullish, bullish. And now um, MarketSmith has, let's see what they changed their their trend to uptrend under pressure and vector vest has it uh let's see let me refresh here vector vest has it neutral at the moment um and i said to be careful you know it was it was um kind of iffy and it's still iffy uh anyways uh, we're looking for stocks that are uh define the the odds and 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 have good breakouts and are trending well uh the 10 year uh yield is uh 3.17 under 320. let's take a look at the dollar see what the dollar's doing uh dollars uh hovering at highs uh 104.40 um all foreign currencies are pretty much green except the aussie and the loony uh bitcoin up 100 uh just a little bit over 20k and it's, it's just so funny that you watch uh, cnbc and it seems like all they talk about is crypto it's just incredible um and a bunch of crypto scammers messaging messaging they message me through through whatsapp and messenger it's it's just ridiculous um whatever good luck to whoever's in crypto uh my take is um you want to be in crypto uh you're better off maybe um with uh with amd who does the the chips and stuff like that let me get some candies here collect some candies here the crypto market is that so the crypto market basically has wiped out over two trillion market cap Right now, the global market cap is uh, 953, just under a trillion. Um, I don't even know how many cryptocurrencies currently exist. Coin market cap will tell us that. But um, Ether is at 1151. And um, everything else is pretty much red. I mean, there's, there's really no, no sense in none of this. Unless you know they have a business um, and it's profitable, I guess, have at it. You know, Helium, HNT, has moved up in market cap. Uh, well, since other coins have gotten destroyed, they've moved up. Uh, I know they kind of do like an internet of things. And I signed a, uh, a deal with Dish Network, if I'm not mistaken, when I was doing research. But I really haven't caught up kept up with the market because um i mean i just rather invest in in companies that really make money i mean i don't know what's up with axie axie was a hundred dollars it's fifteen dollars i know mana is in the decentraland um in the uh, metaverse that's the mana's decentraland it's in the in the metaverse just a sand um but i would have to do more research to see these guys make money but that's my two cents on, on the crypto market. Um, the stimulus went away, the hype went away, and I'm sure a lot of people got left holding the bag in, in most of these cryptos. Um, and we're seeing, we're seeing it here in the market. Uh, as the stimulus and the interest rates climb, um, the, all, all markets are getting hurt. All assets are getting hurt. Um, oil oil was up today uh, on uh, China reopening news and so were some of the gaming stocks like Las Vegas Sands and Wynn um, on China reopening and oil was up to 112 it actually went negative it was actually green here in the in the later hours um, and it's been acting well um, and the energy sector is acting very well and that's where a lot of the setups are energy um, there's energy crisis. We have the issue with Ukraine and Russia and Europe banning Russia and just just a lot of uh, underinvestment 
in, in, in the energy sector, oil sector here in the United States over the years, uh, when the Fed was printing all this money, all that money w uh, was going uh, to speculative bubbles. Um, when COVID hit and, and, and oil went negative um, because uh, everything shut down and there were barrels of oil everywhere, actually oil went negative uh, on the futures. They went negative. They were paying people to take barrels of oils. And look where oil is. And a lot of bankers and investment firms got burned in the uh, Permian Basin. Um, so they decided to take their money, uh, you know, all this printed money that they give to the bankers and the investment firms. Um, and they and they um, invested it in, in SPACs, startups, crypto. And that's what you call malinvestment. Mal because at the end of the day, money's gonna go where it needs to go, and um, they didn't invest. They they got burned in the in the in 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 the downturn, and they decided to go. And now they're getting burned in in the in the tech sector, uh, with Coinbase laying off. I don't know how many people. Um, that place is a disaster. Uh, Crypto.com, you name it. They're they're laying off people everywhere in that sector. Um, and that's what happens when you have speculation. You had the dot coms uh, bubble, uh, you had the housing bubble, uh, and it's crisis after crisis, so they can print and print money. And at some point, uh, if the Fed gets interest rates higher, um, there's gonna come a point that they, they, you know, if we're not in a recession already, they're gonna, they're gonna definitely being we're definitely if we're not we are in a recession that's my two cents um but they're basically hiking into a, re a recession so they at some point they're gonna have to pivot and they're gonna have to print more money and and go back on rates and that's when and that's why gold and silver haven't been acting as good as they should because the market and investors think that the fed's actually gonna do these things and that the fed's gonna win this battle and get inflation back in i'm gonna tell you something they're not they're done the debt is just unsustainable and there's no way if you raise interest rates to the levels that you need it to be to rein in inflation that the government of the united states can operate without defaulting on its debt so gold and silver will eventually go ballistic and that 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 is um my long-term view on those on those assets um gold is holding the 1800 level uh s p up four after a pretty big down day uh copper still trading under four which is a recession indicator and it's trading on lows and freeport mcmoran and tech miner have come down a lot um and and that's not good um Small caps up two. Nasdaq up thirteen. So we're pretty flat here in the uh, in the uh, after hours here in the futures. Dow Jones up thirty one. Natural gas uh, six sixty four, and that's come off. But I expect natural gas to keep going higher. Uh, the metals, uh, platinum has been around the one thousand mark from pretty much nine hundred to to twelve hundred back and forth, and palladium has come down from its highs um silver over 20 bucks uh vix over 28.50 and the grains are pretty flat right now didn't look at the uh at the meats um interest rates pretty stable and feeders at 171 uh hogs at 110 and cattle 132 so the meats have been pretty pretty much hanging in there um on the stock front um i guess we could take a look at i have a lot of these stocks here in my micro my portfolio um i've mentioned prophase prophase is acting ridiculously good uh they're in the healthcare sector they have COVID testing, and um, they are making vitamins, and they're also uh, getting into genome testing. Uh, so 
keep your eye on Proface. That might be a next market leader. Um, Daku Energy was down big today. Um, that might be a buying opportunity. There's solar out of China. And with uh, the Biden administration lowering the uh, tariffs and issues with uh, uh, foreign uh, in China uh, solar, that might be a good play. And it's been trending very, very well. I did a put credit spread in that name. Uh, Sting uh, Tankers, another good name as they transport diesel and jet fuel. And those ships are pretty much uh, firing all cylinders on their spot rates in the market. Uh, Halador Energy, love the name, huge name, I uh, think has a bright future, and um, I, I, I would buy the dips. Ardmore Ship, another one that does uh, diesel moving on the ships, very needed in this market. Sierra Wireless, bucking a trend on a bad tape, up nicely. Uh, Plab was down surprisingly 10% today, pretty, pretty remarkable and still in buy range and i added to my rcmt today on down eight percent also ela they do solar recycling um and they have kind of like pawn shops um what else erf uh don't have anything i don't think in them twi they do monster tires for for like tractors and a deer and all that ag stuff and heavy machinery um they have monster earnings per shares uh in the in the in the next couple quarters sanapta makes food chico's is a retailer pbf a refiner bore drilling down a little bit i think i added some more bill bore and also lee auto was down um, and I'm going to also mention to you a stock that I, actually I'm going to add it to my watch list right now. And I'm going to make this video about this stock. And and I'll give you my two cents on why and we're going to break it down. Um, and I think this will be a huge winner if my intuition is right on it. I got confirmation on my thought process on the stock today. I did some reading. I'm in the automotive sector, so I do a lot of reading on, on cars and the market and stuff like that. And I did some reading this weekend uh, about some news that came out of China and how I, I, I added one and one together. I was like, well, this stock should benefit from this. But remember, I study the market. So when I uh, see something, I know how to correlate it to the market with a stock. And that's the kind of investor you need to be. So how, what do I mean by that? Let's say you go to Walmart. Just to use an example, you go to Walmart and you see this, for example, a Funko. Funko is a good stock. Uh, it's on IBD's list and it got upgraded. And, it's, and you see a Funko pop doll and you see all these kids buying it and, and they're selling and they're doing good and this and that. You should automatically when you walk into a store okay funko pick up the phone well, who makes funko oh who makes these dolls funko okay boom and have that in your mind every time you see a trend in the street i remember back when crocs had come out and crocs was like a five dollar stock back in the day everybody started wearing crocs and what is crocs stock at now we'll look at it now so those are the kind of things that you need to always keep in the forefront as an investor um and, and, and in all reality, you need that in today's age, um, that, that savviness and that um, intuition, because uh, we live in some, 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 some tough times. If you're not ahead of your game and do for yourself, uh, no one's going to do for you. Uh, so enough with my rant on, on uh, you know, being a go-getter and a hustler. Genie Energy... Um, love it i think great future quick i love it uh it's, it's trending very well very strong Jincor solar is like it's like uh daku 
uh, in the solar industry. Hudson was down huge today. I added to my Hudson position, even though it's a hold, I added to my Hudson. I have faith on them. I watched them over the years. Hearty Hanks was my video from yesterday, up another 2% on a bad tape. End phase down 7%. Eli Lilly down 3%. Uh, coal was up. BTU coal. Um, Southwest, Southwest Energy up 2%. A lot of the energies were up do, doing well today. NL, NL Industries, another one that does locks and like uh, locks for gas stations and um, and chemicals. Tech resources have been hit hard and they have some high earnings per share, but they're in copper. So if housing gets hit, they may be um, they may be affected. Vertex Energy, they do diesel refining. Uh, that should be a good one. Diana Shipping's a sell, but it's very undervalued in my opinion. S gas, I think that one's a good one too, another shipper. WWE has good earnings, but they have some turmoil with Vince McMahon. So, you know, keep an eye on it, but I think they have good earnings and uh, and they have a good fan base. And it's actually kind of fun to watch. PHX Minerals, um, good undervalued one, I think. I think they could do good. Uh, with the uh, energy crisis. What else? I think that's for, for the most part. Ring Energy has a high short interest. They have it marked as a sell. I think that'll come back strong in my opinion. Because they have a lot of shorts in there. Um, GameStop down to 125. That, you know you know my take on that garbage. On on the on the Mimi stocks, Meme stocks, whatever you want to call it, AMC is another one. I think that's pretty much. And Redbox, what happened to Redbox? I think it was down today. Yeah, down. So what I was talking about, like for example, uh, let's look up uh, Crocs. So Crocs used to be, well, wow, Crocs come down a lot, big time. Let's see a five year chart. So yeah, you see, let's say five years ago, you got on that trend, it was seven bucks. And that's what we're doing. I concentrate on stocks under 10 bucks, if you noticed. But look at that ride. Well, actually here in in uh, in 20, it hit a low of eight. Incredible. And look at this ride up to 180 and not so back down. That is amazing. Really amazing. That's Crocs. And then the other one was uh, uh, Funko that I had mentioned to you. But that's these are none of the stock. They have Funko as a buy. And we could put up here the chart. And uh, Funko was uh, here was uh, a $3 stock, more or less. And we're at 23 And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the next big thing, you know. And that's what this channel is about. Um, so leading to the stock of the, of the day, in my opinion, looking at the market in depth, like I look at the tape every day, the stock of the day for me is at home, auto home. Okay. Um, now mind you, I was looking at this stock on uh, today's Tuesday on yesterday. So yesterday Let's take a look at it. We had the break. I was looking at it Monday. I think Monday was the the 27th, right? Yeah, 27th. So I was looking at it yesterday. You see how they have it? They had a recommendation hold. So they changed it to buy today. You can see here in the, on the top it has a yellow and then green buy. And, and my hunch was right. I should have bought yesterday and I didn't. I bought today. And um, I wish I would have went with my gut because I did the research on the on, on the on the um, on the weekend, and I put one and one together. I go, this company is going to benefit from the news that I had read on the internet, and I'll get to that article and I'll explain my thesis and my and so you guys can think like I think when you're looking at the market. So let's look at the one year chart. This is the one year chart of uh, Auto Home. Um, so the high here was 
65. Uh, right, today we bunk, uh, we broke out basically because this high here was about we could look at it better on the market smith which i'll which i'll do it as well but you can see that we're, we're breaking out here um and we'll look at the five-year chart look at the five-year chart on this stock this was a hundred and forty dollar stock at one point it hit 120 a couple times and then almost 140 okay so what does micro map like this stock and i bought it today um I bought 100 shares, so about four grand. Um, why do I like it? So I was reading some automotive news. Well, I'm not even gonna go to automotive news. China used car market, right? So it says here, China wants to build a 306 billion used car market. Uh, let's go to the news. So I was reading this on the weekend from I don't know. Now you need to be a subscriber to be able to read this article. It's not gonna let me read the article, but I just want to read the headline to you. Uh, they, uh, they want me to subscribe. I'm not gonna su subscribe. Automotive news from China, right? Used vehicle market said to explode as Beijing lifts restrictions. An urgent need for more economic growth and consumer spending prompts. Beijing to fix problems undermining sales and basically what they from you know from what I got oh uh, actually you can read the article so an urgent need to revive economic growth and consumer spending in the wake of the recent wave of coronavirus infection has prompted Beijing to take a big step to fix long-standing problem that undermine used car sales the State Council China Cabinet on Wednesday set an August 1st deadline for all per, per, provincial governments to eliminate restrictions on residents' purchase of used vehicles from other provinces. China overtook the United States in 2009 as the world's largest new vehicle market, but China used market remains undeveloped. So basically, they're, they're, they're allowing... They're going to allow, if you live in, let's say, for example, Georgia, and you want to buy in Florida, you're able to do that. And, 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 and how do you move cars? Through advertising. So uh, you can Google. I'm not going to read the article word for word. You just get pretty much the, 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 um, the thought process. And you can go in and Google and look at the article yourself. I'm going to put up uh, the Marcus Smith chart on auto home so auto home here is the weekly chart and we had volume 61 percent increase on volume and here's what i'm talking about look at that line it's a break of this old right here it's a break of this candle right here on the weekly chart which the high was 38.30 today we broke it on volume now we're still gonna get more volume there's gonna be more volume and the, and this stock got upgraded today um that's the weekly chart here's the daily you can see we got a big bar of volume here over pretty much everything else here look at that look at that volume bar and we got a breakout here too Fundamentals. Chinese provider of independent interactive content to automobile buyers via auto.com. Uh, it's a $5 billion company. So it's these guys are basically uh, the auto trader of China. And um, like I said, they were $120 stock in the past. They got a PE of 13. Um, and I think more people are going to be jumping in this name for sure absolutely um with this new uh regulation being uh removed their earnings earnings per share should get a huge increase this is a sleeping giant in my in my view let's click here and take a look at their website let's see if it pops up And 
And the thing is, you want to get in before anybody else realizes what's going on. Today was, yesterday would have been a good day to get in. I would have been ahead of the game. But sometimes it's better just to wait for confirmation. We got the confirmation today. We got the buy signal from VectorVest. And I think this is going to run. Um, can't go to the website. Unfortunately. Auto home. Uh, China. China. I think this is their. Maybe it was this one. You see? But we don't know Chinese. But. Like, you can go, I guess, to the different makes. <laughs> Nissan. Maybe you can go. Let's see, Nissan. Nissan. You see, they have the Nissan there. I don't even know how much it cost. That's kind of funny. Uh, this should have Translate, you see? So, that's pretty cool. Anyways... I think that it will do good, and um, I'm in. I'm in like Flynn in here, and uh, let me pull up the monthly chart. This is the monthly chart, and we got, actually, we have an RS of 93, which is excellent, excellent, um, and I think we have a long way to go. Um, I think when the street catches on, you're going to see the stock really explode. Anyways, uh, added a couple subscribers. Welcome to, I think it was uh, Jay. Uh, thank you for subscribing and uh, help me grow the channel. I know that everyone that's going to watch it uh, will benefit in the future. I do my legwork. I watch the markets. And uh, share with your friends and family. Comment below. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, have a good night, take care, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.